My name is Blair Lykala. I am the Director of Recording Services at the University of North Texas College of Music. It's one of the largest uh, enrolled colleges in the nation. We have 70 ensembles. We're most well known for our jazz program. Our one o'clock lab bands had several Grammy nominations. The college produces about a thousand concerts a year. Of those thousand concerts, we record about half of them, around five to 600 uh, events a year. My name is Derek Miller. I am the audio technical director for the University of North Texas College of Music. I support the Winsper Hall and the Lyric Theater, as well as the Vortman Hall, which is in the, the College of Music itself. Our relationship is trying to not only succeed in the semester of uh, handling all of the concerts, but working tightly in making those sound really good. We'll talk about mics, placement, what I need for recording and broadcast, what he needs for live sound, and how we can make that work as best as possible. Our systems that we've had in the past either had channel limitations or routing limitations that never really gave us the kind of flexibility we needed. So we started to look at Dante and how we could solve problems with Dante. And pretty much overnight, uh, Derek and I were able to just redesign the whole system using Dante, using our dedicated fiber lines and all of our dedicated copper. Can you back it up like two feet? Maybe go up a foot. Once we had the system established and we knew that we wanted to go with Dante, it just made it complete sense to go with the Focusrite RedNet line. They have everything that we needed in order to make the integration successful and easy to do and comprehensive and most importantly, sound good. So for typical concerts, we have mics hanging in the room. Those lines are either fed to a mic pre that is Dante enabled or we preamp it and convert it onto Dante. We have several outboard pieces of gear, a classic outboard that we want as part of our sound. We went with a RedNet 2 in order to get analog I.O. connectivity to those. Once it's there, it hits our network switches. We have uh, one primary network switch and a secondary network switch. We're able to have a completely redundant network in case the primary one fails with no pop and no sort of hangover. It's instantaneous. Once it's through that network switch, it can hit any number of our devices that record it. It could be a computer that records it with a card. It could be any of our backup systems. We have uh, other Pro Tools I.O. We have other boards. Once it's mixed, we can send that back to, say, the lobby. We can send it to video for broadcast, speakers for front of house, or monitor wedges, headphone mixes, pretty much anything you can possibly think of. It's all accessible with just a couple clicks. With the RedNet MP8Rs, we found that it's just very easy to be able to work through a live concert with them. We're able to see each other's gain level. We're able to tweak those gains remotely. In my case, I can be sitting at the console listening to the mix and be able to tweak a mic free without having to get up. I get to use the RedNet MP8Rs in a bunch of weird situations. I've mic'd uh, harpsichord through an MP8R, harp, piano, and celeste. With the wide range of instruments, um, it's very important to have a very transparent mic pre. I need to get whatever I put in actually out. We'll go from a concert uh, that has jazz and has lots of microphones, and then the next setting we'll need to be recording on a brand new Hamburg Steinway. We found that this was really the only mic pre that could do it this well. One of the other great advantages of having this Dante network is being able to utilize all of the gear that you have at any time. You know, working at a university, we don't have as many professional staff working this as we'd like to. It's just a little small department trying to do these really large things. So we have to rely on students. And these students can range from psychology majors to business majors. And we need to be able to take something very complex, like a network-based audio system, and make it as simple as possible. We don't really have the time to troubleshoot. We need things to work very quickly and efficiently. And just being able to go on Dante controller and route things you know, it's all labeled, all laid out already. We can route things without even having to think about it. 
traditional audio systems use kind of this inline theory where you have a microphone to a cable to a pre to etc. Switching over to Dante is really switching over to how the internet works, which is a decentralized way of connecting devices. While in practice you are still connecting these devices over fiber or over copper, at the end of the day when you open up Dante controller, you don't see any of that. You just see, I can route anything to anything. For the student's point of view, it makes things much easier for them. There's less training, and more importantly, there's much less mistakes. You just can't get that with any other technology right now.